Hello, hello everyone. Um, welcome back to another unboxing. Happy Friday. I hope you're doing well. So today I have the Witch's Roots um, unbo unboxing the deal. Um, this month's theme is, uh, I believe it was like the Isis Altar, which I was excited about. They um, recently actually, it wasn't actually re recently, it was more like um, last year they did a Bassett um, Roots box, which I loved that. I really follow the Egyptian Pantheon, that's like, especially since I'm French Algerian, um, it really, I really identify with it. Even though I am drawn to like uh, the Nordic and Celtic um, Pantheons as well, or pa I Patriot Pantheons, I believe I'm saying that right. But um, they did a Isis bounty box, and um, this was actually um, the artwork, which was beautiful, beautiful lapis blue once again, and this was the pendant. But um, I figured I wanted to kind of show that. And I've been reading this <clears throat> Egyptian magic for modern witches and um, rituals, meditations, and magical tools. And this has been like a really cool, really cool book. Um, especially with, um, there's like, there's the Knot of Isis. But there's, um, you can create things. And I've been wanting to make one of the, uh, magic wand which is actually like a uh what are they called again um a uh boomerang <laughs> so top of my it was tip of my tongue and then like almost uh there's also like almost like creating the U Uja oracle which is almost like one of those fortune telling papers and I've I was been working on creating one of these. In the book, it t says work with a cloth, but I may, might not a paper. And then it was almost like you throw a runes onto the middle part, and you can like um, do divination. Um, and then these are like the different glyphs. But and then in the back, there's like to get your Egyptian name. So yeah, like, I definitely recommend this book. I really love the author, how she, it feels like she's talking to you and her, um, and how she kind of, um, has been able to find and, like, um, connect with each Egyptian deity, which is really cool. So I highly, like, recommend this book if you are into ancient Egyptian stuff and, um, or like the Egyptian Pantheon, like things like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get into the witch's roots. I'm really excited. Um, I've been very, <laughs> I've been very good. I just took this out of the white sleeve it comes in, and um, I just left it here. I didn't, wasn't able to film it all, all three boxes in the same day. But I'm excited to do it for Friday. So let's get into it. the altar <laughs> excuse me the isis altar and let's look how beautiful inside this box looks let me read about the isis altar it says we know that isis holds an important thread that is woven throughout the magical community we are delighted to focus on this wondrous and powerful light giver and redeemtress it can be difficult to face the ongoing challenges that life throws our way. Feelings of solitude or confinement may play a role in our instincts to hide and cower away for fear of loss, failure, and adequacy. The items that have been carefully selected and created for this unique collection hold the inspiration for us to stand in the face of fear, jump into the unknown, and refill our reservoir of spiritual power and acuteness. Join us in July as we call upon and work with the core, or excuse me, the compassionate and fearless mistress of magic. 
and the magical items in this box are as follows. <laughs> so I love, I love like, I love the energy from this box already. Um, I might have shared before, I've been wanting to like upload videos for over like, it's been probably like two years <laughs> and I was just like my own worst enemy. So it's like, I'm so happy I'm finally doing it and it's been so fun like actually posting my unboxings and stuff. But um, let's get into, uh, so I like to save my Oracle card for last. Um, I actually own this deck, um, the Isis Oracle. Um, I received it in a GP box. They did Isis themed um, box, which was really beautiful. And we just uh, unravel the ledger so I can see what's going on in here. So we have this beautiful an offering to an offering to Isis. How beautiful is this? With the beautiful flowers and maybe stones. But beautiful. And this is the second item on the ledger. It says, an offering to Isis Book of Shadows. This beautiful artwork has been included to accompany your herbal offering. As you place this herbal blend upon your altar, recite the words include within, included in this print. It is important to be sincere. Before performing this ritual, be sure to ground and center yourself in a way that works in your practice. Add the beautiful artwork to your Book of Shadows, Herbal Grimoire, or place it on your altar. And then written and illustrated by the beloved A.E. Alden. I have, that's actually where that other artwork I just got from the witches, I showed from the witches bounty. I, on my vanity, I have a little altar to Isis. Because she's like the first deity I really um, connected with. She's like the first one that showed herself to me. And it was around when I was the age between 15 and 16 and then she like really re like she came back to me during a dark time when I was 18 19 and then 21 she's been she's like just made herself known and it's been really just um, a beautiful thing she has such good mothering like energy and very comforting <clears throat> but this is beautiful look at this so these are gonna be I love how they did this so you can do like you know the pages like this I've been wanting them to do more Egyptian themed boxes so like I'm so excited they did this but here's um, the whole I love the royal blues in this too um, it says about this this is the second or excuse me the third item usually that's the big item that's on the ledger um this is the third the third item okay the fourth item they switched it up a little bit so it looks like the fourth item is the big item so the third item is the isis book of shadows artwork and again they partnered um with a local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor isis this wonderful print offers correspondences and lore that can be referred to during your magical workings and operations. <laughs> Add this beautiful artwork to your BOS or place it on your Isis altar for display. So yeah, this is beautiful. <clears throat> Let me just scoot this right over. Let me get a little magic over here. Is that still smoking? No. I have my little bass set back there. And actually right here, I'm just gonna grab a crystal because <laughs> uh, that's gonna help probably, but this is also interesting. A lot of people don't know this. <clears throat> when you look at quartz, Another reason why I love clear quartz because she made herself known through me or to me through quartz. Um, this face is kind of hard to see, but when you see uh, upside down, um, 
diamond shape, a five-sided diamond on a on a quartz. Um, that is actually called an Isis face. So this one, very small um, face. Let me see if there's another one over here. I think this one might be one. No. Actually, this one's uh, one side off per se, but you can kind of see in this one if this one had this side right here, or it, or it does. It's very off though. But this is also um, Isis face, more like fattened. But you can see that one, two, three, four, five. This, this one has beautiful energy to it. And let's see, we have magical anointing oil. Temple of Isis. Let's give it a little sniff. Ooh, that's nice. It's um, florally but fruity. Ooh, look at her. I think if I put it down, it's gonna just focus a little bit easier. But how beautiful is that sticker? It says about, um, and this is the, <clears throat> There's usually 10 items in the Roots box. There used to be, when I first started getting it in 2020, there was only seven items, but they've added an Oracle card and um, a couple other things like teas more often um, and making sure there's a stone. <laughs> um, so like now there's 10 items that are always in this box, which I really love that. <clears throat> But it says about the Temple of Isis Magical Anointing Oil. We have created this Temple of Isis Magical Anointing Oil with the intentions of surrounding you with the energies of healing, protection, and intuition. We have enchanted this magical oil with ooh, coconut. I was going to say this almost reminds me of the Bounty Box last month. The oil that they received and that one smelled so good. Coconut, lime, rose, and vanilla oils as well or excuse me, and we have included blue lotus and rose petals as well. Inside your oil, you will find a quartz crystal known to personify oneness within your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our Isis magical oil from a personal cabinet of witchery into the mixture of this oil. And the base is a sunflower oil, which I love that they do use sunflower oil. But, um... Next thing we have is our candle. Let me just... Did I really... I was going to say, I left my Sharpie here. Let me just write this down real fast. We have the Isis Calling Mini Spell Candle. Probably gonna be a pretty gold or something because they did that with the fast set candle. It's pretty gold with like um, blue lotus petals and catnip. Look. Ooh. Ooh, how pretty is this? I love that they've been anointing all the candles like this recently. Beautiful golden. It's almost like the same golden color that we received in the moon box. It's like more of an or beautiful orange tone. But it says about the Isis Calling Spell Candle, Mini Spell Candle. This is the ninth item on the box. We have hand rolled this Isis Calling Mini Spell Candle for you to honor and call upon this, uh, excuse me, call upon Isis. 
This candle has been rolled in rose petals to bring beauty and love in or excuse me, in love to your Isis altar. In addition, we have anointed this candle with rose oil. So I gave that to us in um I think the March box, but traveling earth altar. I love that we got that beautiful candle. And then we have our stone. <laughs> I love the colorful sachets this month. The neon orange with the green. And then the black one with the leptolite in the bounty box. So you have beautiful um, red jasper. Love me a good red stone. And it says about the red jasper tumble stone. This is the five, six, seventh item on the ledger. To rever thy enduring gifts, it says in italics. A stone that provides an absolute recharge. Red jasper contains the energy of luck, vitality, creativity, and in quotes, new life. We have included this tumbled red jasper for you to include within your offerings to Isis, an elemental association, Earth. Beautiful. I love that. I love to um, sometimes press the stone onto the candle while it's like sitting and then um, and then take it off before I burn it but I always think that's pretty and then we have some tea psychic eye how pretty is that eye too I used to love drawing eyes when I was younger <laughs> I still do when I'm bored but oh my gosh, I like really bombarded my journals with um, like Eye of Horus and Eye of Ra. <laughs> um, lemongrass tea bags. Hmm, interesting. I love lemongrass. <clears throat> I love the smell of lemongrass. It's probably like the first scent I was like really like, <gasps> and like essential oil that I was like, <gasps> <laughs> and then frankincense and myrrh. I also like just like, I can't get enough. <laughs> Um, it says about the Psychic Eye Lemongrass tea bags, and, and it says it's um, name in Latin as well, but I'm going to botch that. It says about the, this is the fifth item on the ledger. This lemongrass tea has been placed inside of an unbleached tea bag, or excuse me, tea filter bag. <clears throat> Lemongrasses are go-to for psychic enhancement. We recommend brewing a warm cup of this tea as you sit by your Isis altar and ask for for guidance. This can be done through any means of divination that calls to you. Document that you drink lemongrass tea during your reading with in your book of shadows to see how acute your intuition was during the process. And then just as the ingredients, lemongrass. So that's lovely. Ooh, incense are different this month. I kind of showed off my little incense collection in my bounty box. Um, but look at this. They wrapped them instead of being in little plastic bags. I think I have from yes. Did I put everything away yesterday? No. I guess I brought the incense already to my room. <clears throat> I was I was pulling out a herby bag. I thought it was a um, <laughs> I thought it was an incense bag, but this is cool. So it's like wax paper instead, and we have our incense sticks in there. And I love the sticker this month. <clears throat> this is the. Let <clears throat> me get a little set. I'm sorry for coughing. The Golden Dawn. Ooh, that's like a nice musky smell. This is the eighth item on the ledger. The Golden Dawn incense sticks. These wonderfully fragrant incense sticks were added to this collection to start your process of attracting positive and transformative experiences to your life. As you allow the smoke from these incense sticks to waft throughout your sacred space, allow yourself to let go of fear. Take the time to ponder your reactive self. In this moment, we control our lives 
with action regardless of the events that may take place. That's beautiful. I have that. Okay, keep that out of the circle for her now. Um, <clears throat> before I get like the big item, our little herby blend is the Isis. I love the sticker. Iser. <laughs> Oh geez, Icer. Isis Honoring uh, Ritual Herbal Blend. How pretty is that? Looks like they did lemongrass, rose. Hmm, what's that pretty green? <clears throat> oh, okay, so the Isis Honoring Ritual Herbal Blend, the first item on the ledger. Um, to place upon your altar, we have created an Isis Honoring Ritual Herbal Blend. The herbs included are as follows, include for ritual purposes. And then kind of like in the witch's moon, when they gave the correspondences for the stones, <clears throat> for the, the beautiful doll, corn husk doll, um, they did the italic, they're like the smaller Roman numerals. Um, they did that for this too, the bait, like the herbs and the correspondences for the herbs. So they included basil, rose, rosemary, and vervain, or vervain. I'll show that right now so you can pause and look at it. And last but not least is we have... This beautiful, look at this, beautiful Isis um, statue. I love these little figurine um, statues. Uh, they gave the Vasset one, they gave that little Gaia one, um, the Lakshmi one. I kind of want to go get them and like show them all together. Because I love all the statues that they have in their moon market, but they're so they're so big, you know. They are pricey too, but I just like and you have so much stuff already, <laughs> you know. But I love these little deity um, statues. They're so cute, and I have like a smaller altar space. Like, that I just have for, like, seasonal time. And it just the smaller statues just are better for me. But how beautiful is this? I love the color on her, the wings. And then it has the velvet bottom. So it says about the Isis altar statue... This is the fourth item on the ledger. We are thrilled to be able to include the specific Isis statue within this collection, made from painted polystone. As you display this Egyptian matriarch, healer and protector upon your altar, take the time to sit and ponder the wonderful attributes this goddess holds. There are many magical applications that Isis can help with, or excuse me, can assist with. We urge you to do dive <clears throat> into our history lore and potent potential may this wonderful statue bring you comfort confidence and healing through times of distress and anxiety may she pour her powers and blessings into your kerning cauldron oh, that's beautiful like beautifully said oops and um what else was there? Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we have uh, our oracle card. So let's look at that before I get the statues to kind of show them all off. So I, <laughs> I ended up getting a phone call. So I was able to go grab the other statues that came in here. And, um... I really love like these miniature statues. Oops. The Basset one was like, you know, so so, but like the um, Lakshmi one, I loved that one. And the Gaia one was really done nicely. 
but I love like this little collection. I love that they've been doing this. Um, the only one that didn't have like a little bottom was uh, the Lakshini, but the Gaia did. Got a little bit of wax on the bottom. And I guess they're all from Summit. That's where like the statues, um, their bigger statues are from, because I've gotten a couple. But just these are like beautifully done. So yeah, I love this collection. This um they gave this one in December of 2020, I think. And then they did like the uh, an evening ritual for 2021. And then last year they did the little Yule Yule goats for like which was really cute. Um but let's look at the oracle reading. I just want to like bask in that um, imagery first. And it says about the, so I own this one already. I would like to get the bigger version because this is like the pocket edition. And this one doesn't come with the book, like the bigger or like the, you know, the original edition does. So it, this is the tenth item on the ledger, personalized oracle reading. We have meditated and selected a card from the Isis Oracle Pocket Edition Oracle Deck by Elena Fairchild. I love her decks. Um, to place inside your box this card in the symbols slash messages that are represented were meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds and allow this message to act as a direct message from you, or excuse me, from your guides. Think of the goddess Isis as a wise friend with more life experiences helping you navigate the pitfalls of life and reach peaks and more grace. And that's a quote from Elena Fairchild, which I agree with. She's just very like a soothing goddess. I really love her energy. So I, I love like that we got this box this month. I've been wanting to do an offering to her, so it's like this came perfectly because I just did an offering to Bassett last full moon. Or no, not the last full moon, but the full moon before <laughs> that one. Um, and so we have the pillar of light. So whoever is watching this as well, this is a message for you. <clears throat> the pillars of light burning bright earth star below soul star above burn away all that is not light transform all into unconditional love star of isis descend your blessings and peace without end grace me now and with peace and protection completely embraced by divine perfection i love a good rhyme this is that's beautiful i love that <laughs> so much so here is Everything that was in the box um, kind of doesn't look as much because of the candle being in the wrapping, but I really enjoyed um, this box. Uh, it was beautifully done, and let's read what the end of the ledger says, and I'll show you the paperwork if you're interested in that as well. So it says at the end, we have curated this box with the intentions of enhancing the magic that flows through your life. As you work with Isis, allow yourself and your practice to become elevated, full of abundance and self-confidence. Self May Isis guide you towards facing your fears, achieving your goals, and bettering the world around you. Blessed be the witch's roots. For July of 2023, the Isis altar which is Roots, and the ledger is written by G. Ibis. So here is, um, so I'd love to know what your favorite item was in this box, and if you've worked with Isis before, um, how do you feel about her? I adore her. <laughs> um, or what goddess do you love to work with? Um, what's your favorite Egyptian deity? And if you've read that Egyptian, ancient Egyptian magic for modern witches, that book I showed in the beginning, I'd love to know if anyone else read that because 
um, I don't know anyone that has, so I'd um, love to know if anyone that's watching this has. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me in this video, and um, this box is beautiful. <laughs> the smells are beautiful as well. But um, yeah, th <laughs> thank you again. I'm sending you much love and light, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Please stay safe out there.